welcome to my kitchen. It's a great kitchen. You want a tour? Here, let's do a tour. A tour of my kitchen. There's this, this, and this, 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 which is some work, a sink in my kitchen, and that, that, secret bathroom. How does one YouTube? I don't know. I've been wanting pancakes all week. I haven't made pancakes all week for numerous reasons. Mostly because I haven't been motivated enough to make pancakes this week. So today we're going to make pancakes and talk about motivation. See if we have first all the ingredients of which to make a pancake. I wonder. There. This. This. They go together. Not this. Not this. This. Not this. Not these. A whole lot of this. Okay. So. How do I make pancakes? Yeah. I don't remember. Alright. How to make pancakes. Oats. Coconut. Oh, I don't have coconut sugar. No. It's a very big possibility. Baking powder. We need baking powder. Baking powder. My roommate has a tiny bit of regular sugar. How much sugar is required for this? Uh, be right back. Okay. I'm back. And I have water. And brown sugar. But it's a little hard. Oh dear. works maybe okay I'm gonna cut this recipe in half because I don't need this many pancakes what's half of one and a quarter what's half one and a quarter I should have saved one for an elementary school three quarters three quarters three quarters three quarters I don't know oh no how have I done this before all right first thing first is let's take one and a quarter cup of rolled oats and put it into your blender. I don't want to make the full recipe because I don't think I'm going to eat all the pancakes. Also, I don't think there's enough room in my magic bullet to make the full recipe. Quarter of a cup, and a two quarters, a half, three quarters. I'm not going to three quarters. I really hope the portions are correct. Better in the camera totally just died because I totally didn't charge it because I totally wasn't motivated enough to. So there's the tie into this video, right? Short version. I've been feeling terribly unmotivated recently. At first, I was nailing it down to the fact that I don't have a routine anymore. I've always thought of myself as a person who is very motivated. I mean, I write a lot on my own, and when I was in high school, I wrote two, two? I finished two books. Yes. <laughs> and obviously I did all that while also completing school. I've always been someone who thinks of myself as very self-disciplined. I'm the blend this bitch. First step of banana, coconut, vegan pancake. These are vegan by the way. I'm not vegan, but these are vegan. Uh, is to take the oats in your blender of choice and blend them. And look, I have oat flour. That's nifty, huh? Next step. What's the next step? I can't remember. I've also always been pretty motivated when it comes to writing screenplays. I mean, I, I completed, I would say, one and a half features while I was at college, and I completed the first half of a season of television writing. That was fun. But since graduating college, I had done practically nothing. And to uh, quarrel the episode that you might have seen before this, uh, I have a job now as a nanny and so I have routine back in my life and yet I'm still not motivated to do anything. I'm not motivated to write, not motivated to make pancakes. Two tablespoons of coconut sugar. I don't have coconut sugar. I have this very hard brick of brown sugar. So now I'm gonna have to smash. Let me smash this brown sugar until I can get two tablespoons worth. Uh, okay, sure. 
So YouTube is something I've always wanted to be motivated to do. I have always, since high school, I've always really liked it and always really wanted to do it. But for the longest time, it was just a place where I put the short films that I already made for school or something like that. Uh, and I wanted it to be something more. And recently, uh, I watched this video by a YouTuber I watched who is actually a vegan YouTuber. There's another time for you. Um, Caitlin Shoemaker, I'll leave the video that I'm talking about in the description down below. But she, in it, she's talking about uh, what motivated her to drop out of college. She was a graduate student studying PT and decided to quit in order to pursue YouTube full time. Um, and I thought it was just really cool um, that she you know, took that kind of a risk. And you need half a tablespoon of baking powder. So I'm supposed to be cutting this in half. So not half, I don't know. Uh, it would be half of a half? I don't know. Well, these might be shit, but at least they'll resemble pancakes. A teaspoon of vanilla, which is gonna be half a teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah. Bird and vanilla extract. Uh, I should have been honestly even less than half a banana. Banana. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just realized I look like a minion. Like a slightly off brand minion today. Oh no! I'm supposed to go to Pride and now I look like a minion. I won't bring the banana. Oh. What's that called? Minion bounding? I don't know. Probably like half right there. And then the milk. Same amount as uh, oats. So if I put in three quarters worth of oats, then I need to put in three quarters worth of coconut milk. But anyway, in the video, Caitlin talked about how um, she felt torn between school and YouTube and other social media. That was the first thing that struck me as just. I wish I had that drive. If you haven't noticed, since my initial video uh, talking company about how I don't have a job and how I really want a job and how I'm gonna do YouTube instead to fulfill myself while I don't have a job, I haven't done YouTube. And I don't know that I have a good reason for not doing that. All right, now that we've put all this shit into the thing, we blend. I'm too lazy for this. I actually own flour and it's even like gluten-free flour from Trey Joe's, so I'm just gonna put some of that in and thicken it. Mix, 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 it all together in a little blender. All right, that's looking more consistency like a pancake. Yeah, see, pan, 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 pancake, pancake. All right, I don't wanna fill it all with the camera that I got. Oof, we have fire. And now I'm gonna take some of my coconut oil for the coconut trend in these pancakes. And I'm gonna put some on my non stick pan. Just squish it around the pan. That's something I've always really admired about YouTubers is that the motivation to actually make videos. Like, I always really admired that uh, I've always been a big fan of PewDiePie and I thought it was always really inspiring that like when he was first making videos when he didn't have Wi-Fi he would go out to a cafe just to pick up Wi-Fi and I, I mean I really wish I had that kind of a motivation to do anything but I don't know if I do. Now look! Pancake! Pancake number one. What were they saying? What were they saying? What were they saying? PewDiePie. Yeah. Oh, PewDiePie made a video recently talking about how he doesn't want to try as hard anymore. That like the days that he spent like that uh, seeking out people's Wi-Fi just to upload a video, uh, he looks on kind of negatively, and he kind of looks on as kind of more like obsession, actually, than motivation, which I thought was really interesting. I'll link that video in the description, too. I've actually been wanting to film this video, this really stupid, simple video about making pancakes and talking about motivation for like the last fucking week, and I haven't done it. 
no, more than a week, like two weeks of wanting to film this video, and I haven't done it. I haven't made myself pancakes, and I haven't done a YouTube video, honestly. So, what's the solution? I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if anybody knows. I think in order to really do anything that'll last or be long term with the channel, I have to be really self-motivated in any way to do it. I think I have to be passionate to do it. I think for me, personally, and I think this goes for a lot of content creators on YouTube, the motivation to create comes out of a need to share something that they really love. And I think I'm motivated by that same desire too. I just don't think I have, or maybe I just don't recognize what it is I'm passionate about right now. The thing that I'm passionate about have always been pretty consistent. I'm passionate about storytelling. That's kind of vague. I'm passionate about writing, but I'm also passionate about writing a lot of different kinds of things. I like to write books. I like to write screenplays. I like to write fan fiction, poetry, not often. I'm also really passionate about video games. It's not the thing that I love most in the world, but it's something that I do spend a lot of time doing or talking about or thinking about. I'm passionate about movies, like talking about movies. I like TV as well. I like talking about some TV, but not all TV. And I think that come, becomes the crux of the problem for me, is that I've always thought of myself as more of a jack of all trades person and not a master. I like to think that I'm good at certain things, but in the end, I like a lot of things and I like to be good at a lot of things, but I don't like to obsess over anything. And I was thinking about this recently because I've been reading Game of Thrones with the book club of my friends from school. And <laughs> my friend Jess, who's also my co-director for the series that I am directing and writing right now, After Oil, I'll leave the link to that in the description down below as well, is obsessed with Game of Thrones. And that's the, what's been really pushing all the conversation about the book and also comparing it to the show as we've been going through book club. And I just realized as we were going through the book that I don't know that I have anything that I'm that passionate about. I don't think I have something that I've, or rather, I don't think I've had a passion in my life that's been so sustainable that I could almost call it an obsession. I think writing is the only thing that's ever come close to that because ever since I was in, I guess it was like high school, I haven't ever really stopped writing. In high school I was writing, but in high school I was writing for fun. I think that's the difference is that obsession has no goal. And sometimes that can be that of passion too. I think maybe when the line between passion and obsession gets a little bit obscured. But motivation very much has a goal in mind. There's always an end set. I had the motivation today to make pancakes, or rather I had the motivation today to wake up and put out my camera and blend a whole bunch of oats in a fucking blender because because the end goal was that I wanted to put this coconutty, banana-y goodness into my mouth and then my stomach. Ugh, okay. Ugh. Moment of truth. <laughs> Let's see how the pancakes are. Alright. Here we go. Not bad. I'm not mad at it. So, long story short, I think I need to start thinking of YouTube less like making a pancake and more like taking a walk or going for a run without putting any limitations or goals or rules onto myself like I was trying to do before, like with trying to put out a video every day. While I would still like to do that, I don't know that that's the right way to go about it. I think if you're really passionate about something, then you just do it. And uh, it doesn't always have to be perfect. And to think about in terms of my writing practice before now, and even when I was at high school, and when I think of kind of as my golden years of writing for some reason, because I was writing more back then. I didn't always write every day. If I wrote every day, it wasn't the same time every day, it wasn't for the same amount of time every day. For a lot of it, when I wasn't doing NaNoWriMo, I was just writing because it was fun. I was waiting, and I was writing with other people too. I think that's the other catch of it, is that what's the point of being obsessed or passionate about something if you don't have somebody to be obsessed over something with? So I'm 
called the end for that episode. Thank you guys so much for making pancakes with me today. Let me know what you guys think of all this and all the links that I mentioned will be down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see all you guys in the next episode. Bye!